These are some Dinar Guru updates starting off with Militia Man. A process had to be brought forth. A currency reform is complex. It's not an easy task to do what they're doing. They have to set up things. They've got decisions that need to be made. They have to set up the stage for the economy to be able to do this. They have to have components of psychology involved because the people can't adjust. Ultimately, they had to get everything in order kicking the can, or were they really just stalling the system to be in place? Eventually, they've got to finish. I think the 2021 budget, the Kurds, hydrocarbon law, they're all waiting for the same thing. The time to get that phone call saying, show up, it's showtime. All right, a Mountain Goat article quote, representative economic, the conditions are ready to adjust the exchange rate and the oil barrel in the budget. I'll Fairly said the conditions are in place to restore or reduce the exchange rate of the dollar against the Iraqi dinar in the draft budget, unquote. This article is powerful. They're telling us that now that the economic conditions are ready, they are ready to adjust the exchange rate. No more excuses, but they need the new rate in the budget. I know for a fact they will never put the rate in the budget until it is all completed. So Al Faley knows what he knows, but not what the CBI will ever do for security reasons. All right, Petra, it's just mind-boggling to think of every step, every person, every integration, electronic integration, everything that had to be done to bring us to this point has just been absolutely amazing. The infrastructure they built is absolutely phenomenal. The great thing is this is going to take them to a whole new level which they can build their country to be a recognized entity in the international markets. All right, Jeff, article quote, al Kazimi, we have succeeded in crossing the economic crisis and an international readiness to support Iraq and reform. Remember, these reforms can only be launched and implemented after Iraq has changed their rate. That's why since last year, they're still talking about reforms. Mm -hmm. Anything that costs money within the reforms can only be launched and implemented after the rate change. That's why the bulk of the reform is still pending and outstanding because it's waiting on the rate change. The level of reforms requires Iraq's currency to be internationally recognized. All right, Pimpy, many people are asking me, hey Pimpy, when do you think the RIRV is going to happen? Will it be announced? What do you think the rate is going to be? We don't do rates and we don't do dates. There's a reason for it because nobody knows. Everything is speculation. There could be an announcement of an RV or an RI at any time. Nobody knows. I don't care if you're talking about backroom screens, redemption centers on standby, waiting for magic codes, all that crap. I don't care what they say. It's all bull. You don't need humanitarian projects. You don't need to go to redemption centers. You don't need to take your dinar and turn it into anybody. So when they say they have these, they want you to give them your dinars because they're getting contract rates. That's really skittish. Be careful. Don't get focused on just an announcement. There are other things we can be watching out for that would allow the Iraqi dinar to increase in value, strong economy, increase in federal reserves, increase in gold holding, decrease in money supply. All right, Frank 26, the meetings that we told you about between the Fab Four before they raise the value are really picking up the pace. It's really moving fast. In the last meeting Saturday, they talked about the small category notes. They also talked about the real effective exchange rate regarding the meeting about the new small category notes. That one is done. Regarding the meeting about the new exchange rate, that one is done. All right, Mark Z via PDK, the news out of Iraq, guys. Wow, they're really pushing for it. They're going to drag this thing through kicking and screaming. The rest of the world cannot afford to go when they go. Hell or high water, Iraq is changing the value of their currency and forces the rest of the world to catch up. Do things look fantastic? Do they look like they're pushing forward? Yes. The biggest news right now is what is coming out of Iraq. All right, foot forward, I was under the impression that there would be two rates, one domestic in Iraq and a different rate international. Uh, foot forward said there will not be two different rates. That's been misinformation for a long time. You can't have two different rates. It doesn't work like that. Where people get confused is they will exchange dinar for U.S. dollars on a one-to-one -one basis in-country. That's not a rate. That's just a note exchange. 
And in country, they can do whatever sort of exchange they want. That should not be mistaken for a rate. All right, walking stick via Frank 26. The HCL is being pushed dramatically right now. I mean, it's being shoved. It's being pushed through. And it's extremely important for us to understand the value of that because the HCL is going to allow the new exchange rate to come out. Pushing the HCL is telling you and me as investors that they are very close. All right, Mountain Goat says, remember that the 2021 budget is not yet passed, thus not yet opened. We could still have an opportunity to see the revaluation and reinstatement. I know it is March already and far from early January, but what matters the most is that they have not yet opened the new budget and spent it. Once they do this, we are in trouble. And if they have not yet moved on the project to delete the zeros and the revaluation part of the process. All right, Bruce uh, says, you know, by now that Iraq could have done their thing many times over, but they and the Central Bank of Iraq is governing the body that controls the rate of the dinar. However, even though Iraq is considered a sovereign nation now, they're still subject to the Treasury of the United States to more or less give them the go ahead to when the release the new rate. Today, we find that Iraq has, uh, I think, the term deadline. There's a theoretical deadline, let's call it for Iraq, to do this on Sunday the 14th. I've heard of a window that was given to me today that took us from tonight all the way to Saturday, and this is from a really good source. So we have a lot to look forward to this week. I believe we're in good shape for this to go now. We do know that the rates are going to be fantastic, I think even a little better than we thought. 